If you can tell us there's a tipping point fairly soon down the road, or else we're just going to borrow and spend ourselves into a place that'll be a lot worse than where the economy might go, supply chain and all that, due to climate. Well, I'm going to show my age. Uh, I started working on environmental problems 50 years ago and interviewing businesses about how they were going to cope with air pollution control. And many of them told me it was going to bankrupt them. And we've found over the years that businesses rally. When they're faced with regulation and costs, they find ways to uh, meet those challenges with uh, innovation and different ways of doing things. And we found those innovations pay dividends over and over again. So the, the projected costs that I think you've cited are exaggerated. Uh, you've underestimated the benefits that most scientists believe we're going to receive by reducing climate change. There are tipping points. The scientific community is universally agreed that two, per, two degrees centigrade uh, increase in temperatures, average temperatures from the Industrial Revolution base is uh, as far as we need to go. And uh, Senator Johnson mentioned a document led by two physicists. Well, physicists aren't climatologists. Uh, so I could cite 18,000 scientists that would say climate change is a serious problem. Thank you.